today is a great day in healthcare. Go out and discover what your uh, opportunities are. Keep living that passion. Keep living that, uh, that dream of your graduation day. And we'll love to see you working right alongside us or taking care of us. My name is Michael Scott. I'm Vice President with the Colorado Hospital Association Shared Services. We are here at the 2013 Fall Career Event held at Sports Authority. We have 48 hospitals that are represented here at the Career Event. And this has attracted over 900 job seekers seeking out their opportunity to have a face-to-face -face meeting with those employers. The best part about being here today is the chance to really make those interpersonal connections and have a face to go with uh, the names and to get my own name out there and meet with people in person. Well, I work in oncology right now. It would be great to continue in that vein, but we'll see how it goes. Flexible, but oncology, palliative care, you know, end-of-life care, I think those are all really where, uh, where I'm most interested in being. Hi, my name is Brendan Kolber. I'm a recruiter with Centura Health. We're a faith-based nonprofit, a hospital system. We have hospitals here in Colorado and Kansas as well. Uh, a great place to be uh, here at Sports Authority Field. There are 40 plus organizations. Uh, I've heard somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand people that have come th uh, through. Getting a better understanding of uh, the different hospital systems here in Denver, a number of other employers as well. And seeing why it's so great to live not only in Denver but in the beautiful state of Colorado. Do you have a personal brand? And what I've tried to do during this presentation is really walk you through all the elements that help that need that you need to help to reconnect with your joy of being a caregiver and choosing this profession so that your personal brand will be easy to access, easy to communicate, and easy to convey to the folks here and down the road in your future. So don't give up on your dreams ever. Okay, and remember, the ingredients for sustainable success is the ability to adapt, the ability to build and sustain relationships, and the ability to be resilient. But clearly having an understanding of your personal brand is going to affect how you resonate with recruiters, and certainly how you resonate with headhunters and people who are you know, um, here with us today. So when you have a solid personal brand, you're more confident, you can be more impressive, and more, most importantly, you can be most memorable. I'm a new graduate nurse, and today was a wonderful time to get together and meet with my, some cohorts, but also to see all of the different options of potential places for employment. Hi, my name is Ellery Archer. I'm with the Eastern Colorado Council of Black Nurses. And we came out today to do some membership recruitment with the Colorado Hospital Association. And we have had several success stories already that interested parties that want to become a part of our organization from RNs as well as LPNs and CNAs. And we're also a part of the National Black Nurses Association. So it's a very instrumental organization in terms of recruiting experienced nurses, as well as new grads and anyone looking to go into the profession of nursing. Hi, I'm Cheryl Kreschke and I'm with Regis University and I'm here at the job fair and I just think it's fantastic that these opportunities are presented to individuals who are looking for work either because they don't have a job or they're in a job and they want to move on to something else. Regis University came to the job fair because we were interested in helping folks look at their educational needs along with their employment needs. And it's been working real well for us here today because there are some folks that come in, they're not sure what they're looking for in terms of employment. And while they're speaking to the employers here today, then they realize, you know, I might need another degree. John, uh, paramedic, 
and uh, I'm just uh, excited to see how many different health opportunities are here today and I'm just trying to get my uh, my feel for it all. And my name is Kayla Lewis and I'm here representing University of Colorado Hospital. Um, we think that the CHA job fair is a great event to come to just to get our name out, tell people all of the exciting things that are happening at the hospital, all of the areas that we're recruiting for, whether it be clinical, non-clinical, nursing, financial, um, just looking for the right kind of candidates that are passionate about healthcare and want to get involved with a growing, successful, exciting organization. That it was a really great opportunity to come here because I got to see a lot of new people and meet some old friends and um, I also um, got to see a lot of different opportunities for different ways to use my skills so it was nice to have the variety and to be able to make some informed choices. Hi I'm Judy Emery and I'm with the Colorado Urban Workforce Alliance which is uh, a regional approach to the public workforce system. We work with Adams, Arapaho, Douglas, Denver, and Jefferson County in trying to match job seekers with jobs in healthcare. We share with potential job seekers the possible opportunities that might exist in healthcare because we work directly with the healthcare system in recruiting for targeted jobs that they're having a hard time filling or looking at getting people involved in the pipeline in some targeted occupations that the healthcare industry will be hiring in. And so for us to be here is invaluable because not only can we offer some information to the job seekers, but we learn constantly what some of the healthcare needs might be. True leaders don't create followers, they create more leaders. Keep learning, keep being adaptive, keep your flexibility, most importantly, importantly, keep your optimism and your positivity, bring it to work, contribute, and there will be a lifetime of opportunity for you. But the only people who can make it better are the people who are in it, and that's you. You're in it, you still have the opportunity to make a difference, you still have an opportunity to improve healthcare.